Hey, Scooter, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. I like the poster in the background. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks familiar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly well, does. Well, I got to tell you, I love the friendship game. Um, the whole concept was quite interesting. And I like the fact that you get all the sides of the perspective in this film from everyone. Even we, we really have the same events, but the fact that we get from all these perspectives, I think it made it more um, enhanced, if you will. It made it like a, a really good movie overall. Yeah, thank you. No, I appreciate that. That's very nice. So my first question is, how did you get involved with the project? Well, I, I just come off my, my first feature um, and I was sort of messaging around and I messaged uh, my friend Dan Beckerman, who was our producer, one of our producers. Um, and he had, I was looking for something weird. My first movie was, uh, you know, a, a small town thriller, which I also really do love that genre. Mm -hmm. um, but I, wa I wanted something weird. And he was like, I got just the thing. And he sent me Damien Over's script. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I sort of instantly fell for um, what it was trying to do and what it was. And the last 20 pages as I read it, I was like, I have to do this movie. This is so out there and fun. It so, was. Yeah. yeah, it was totally yeah. out there. I mean, I, I had to watch it maybe like twice just to get it because I was like, at times I got confused. And if I missed something, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch it again. But <laughs> I'm glad I watched it the second time because it made me That's cool. more involved. And now I understand what was finally going on. And That's I got to say, um the cast in this i can't say enough about it you know peyton list brendan meyer who i've talked to like on two different occasions you know nice. and you know he they all did a great job what was it like working with this cast yeah i speak a lot about the cast i think they're i think they're um really really good uh i think they're genuine um i i don't feel like any of them like they're all believable and just they really took the roles themselves and really rolled with it um, I can't appreciate them enough for what they, they do to the movie. Uh, and any, any good horror movie to me kind of starts from character. Um, yeah. and then all the, all the horror happens because of character. So you really need, um, a good cast to hold you there. And I think with Peyton's character with Zuza, as you were talking about, you know, having to watch it a second time and the weirdness and sort of the, you know, the, the by design confusion that we put in there, um, you need that central emotional hook um, in Zuza. You need to be grounded and follow her arc in order for all the other stuff to sort of um, play without getting too confusing. So I think I think Peyton really led led the charge and I'm excited for her. I totally agree. Because I, I Cotton's I felt was like a, a prologue, if you will, to everything. Yeah, totally. We get, yeah. Then we get Zuza's and everything just comes into play. And I really like the, the chemistry between all of them, especially between Brendan and Peyton, because, you know, once Brendan's character find out, realizes what is going on, mm -hmm. he's trying to warn her. and She's at first warding him off because she thinks he has, you know, it looks like she has this big crush on her and everything. But mm -hmm. I felt like their chemistry was important because it's like he knew he knew what the game was about. And it's like he was the smart one of the bunch. And, you know, kudos to him for that role. Yeah, Brennan's great. I actually had breakfast with him this morning. Um, he's just leaving town. But, uh, you know, I've been a fan of his since the OA. And then I saw him in color out of space. And, and when we got an audition tape from him for this, I was like, we need to get him on board. <laughs> like, I'm oh, a yeah. big fan of his. So, yeah. Yeah, I became a fan of his after I saw all the small things, then color out of space. And yeah. then I talked to him on both occasions. And I told him, like, we're going to talk a third time. It's going to be a matter of time. We're going to go for a three for <laughs> I'm feeling it's going to be for this movie. Yeah, so. I think he's doing the rounds now. You should try and reach out. Yeah, yeah, so I can't. Yeah, so I am looking forward to talking with him again about it. So what was, um, how long did shooting take and what challenges did you face during production? Yeah, I mean, shooting was fast. Um, it's, it's a movie, every movie, the, the, I think the sphere at which indie movies are produced now is, is a really tough um, place to work um, and the more money you have the more time you can afford so I think we didn't have that much money so I think we were up against time always and I think with almost any movie that's always going to be your challenge but for us it was you know it was a very fast production and we ended up doing um, some reshoots and some pickup shots as well um, and those had to be super fast so I think yeah time is always going to be the enemy <laughs> on a film set 
And, uh, and it definitely was, but we had such a good crew and such a good cast. You know, one of the biggest um, learning lessons was when you are in trouble, timing wise, and you have a good cast, cast they will save your ass every time. Um, when you only have two setups, you know, when you have five setups on your shot list and you only get two, um, your cast is going to save your ass. So we, we got really lucky that our cast is so good um, that I could just throw a camera down and be like, let's, let's get this scene. It's all about you guys. Let's get it. And they nailed it. So, yeah, exactly. And I, you know, that's, what's great with working with the young cast. They bring this natural chemistry all yeah, together. It's like an to energy, things. right? You no, know, yeah. it doesn't feel forced. Like a lot of these veteran actors, they feel like they have to be forced to work with other, you know, they work with other actors. It feels forced and it doesn't just doesn't feel right at times. But yeah, these guys are like legitimate friends now. Like they they hang out anytime they're in in uh they recently just did a photo shoot in town too, and uh just with a our makeup artist, Miel, who organized the whole thing. Like they're really tight now, which is cool. Super cool. Yeah, I think it's the second time I heard that where where young cast oh, did you? Like, yeah. Yeah, like uh young young cast like got together for the first time ever and now they they're like the best of friends. Yeah. So this is like the second occasion I've heard this. It's like it's I think it's great that that comes out of it. You know, it's not like not just a working relationship, but now it goes to mm -hmm. a personal relationship. And I think, I that's think you important. can see it in the film too, right? You can, you can definitely yeah, you see can that. Tell. You yeah. can tell. And, and, and I got to say, who knows? We might, we might see them work together again down the road. I hope so. Projects. I hope to work with them together again. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I was, I was, I was going to say, I, I, you're, you're playing it with them. So speaking of that, what is next for you that you can talk about after this movie? Yeah, there's a lot of writing happening. Um, I have sort of started a, a little writing group. Um, and I think that's sort of the next step. I've got a couple other things that I have written that are out and in people's hands, um, but we don't have anything immediately going um, right away. But yeah. Okay. And uh, life of an indie director, you know? Yeah. Do you plan to do something uh, weird again on, on the level of this? <laughs> yeah. Movie? I could, because the way, the way things that ended, I could see possibly a follow up, maybe with a new. Yeah with a new crew this time going through the same yeah. craziness. I could, I could totally see it. Like a, it's, it's definitely set up for a sequel for sure. Yeah. Um, but I think that was also the nature of how the story wanted to be told. Um, it did want to do sort of a cyclical thing. And we, and we, we do that even with the structure that you're talking about, the yeah. each different perspective is also kind of cyclical. So, you know, there, there, there's an intention there, not just for another movie, but within the movie itself. I, I hope to do something weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 if I, if I ever saw a sequel list, I would love to see one of these people come back to warn this new crew about what's going to happen. And, you know, I, I would be quite fascinating. Kind of like the way Final Destination was set up with the second one where, yeah, where yeah. You had one character from the original warning the others what's going to happen. I, I could see it with this if, if, they, if there was ever a sequel to this. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be fun. It's definitely not outside the cards. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So the friendship game is coming out November 11th. Those who want to see something kind of weird, but in a way really fascinating in terms of its um, structure, especially with the story and, and a, a phenomenal cast, um, will want to see this movie. And Scooter, man, thank you so much for you know bringing this to everyone. And I hope the film does get a hit. And like I said, I hope maybe who knows could be a follow up to this. And if there is, I'm looking forward to it for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate you chatting today too. Thank you. And thanks for watching it. That's awesome. All right. Well, for watching it twice. Care. That's great. Yeah, exactly. Twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might have to watch it twice again, but you'll you'll everyone will get it. But uh, thank you again <laughs> so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.